Stephen from 501 Parts here. Got a 2023 Can-Am Max Defender HD10 XMR. Now this is my buggy here that I bought, traded in a three-seater on it. Got this super nice machine, but the only problem I see on the bottom is there's really no holes to clean out the belly pan. There's about 617 rivets on the bottom of this thing too that can have decided to rivet all that. And I didn't really like that either because I mean, I want something I can take off. I need to service something. You got to be able to pull these belly pans off. And again, I mean, I don't get in a lot of mud anymore, but if I did, after I ride every time I like to, I like to uh, clean my machine off and uh, rinse the belly pan with water. And as you can see where the drive shafts are, there was no holes at all. So I've already did that one, but I'm gonna knock, I'm gonna pull this one off here. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get this stuff off and do it. You kind of just need to get it up on a lift. They say turn it on the side. I wasn't, I wasn't a big fan of that. I'd almost rather lay on my back than turn it on the side. I didn't have a way to do that other than the tractor. End up scanning up my roof. I didn't want to do that. So I'm gonna go and knock this uh, middle skip plate off what you're gonna need is an air chisel with a sharp bit i sharpen on a bench grinder of course your safety glasses earplugs it's pretty loud i like to wear a headlamp everywhere i go just so i can see better uh, other than that some number 14 uh, one inch uh just self-tapping screws you can get those anywhere three eighths uh bit uh, three eighths head helps if you got a magnetic bit and then a uh, two inch hole saw is what I use to cut the holes in it. Two inch hole saw. But other than that, I'm gonna knock this thing off, show you how quick these rivets come off with an air chisel. Like that, guys. Here's the skid plate. See if I can adjust this camera some. So as you can see, I've got the skid plate off here. Got it sitting on a trash can. Just doing some kind of alternating two inch holes with a hole saw here. Clean it up a little bit. So what I will do is take, I know I'm kind of OCD, and it's a skid plate, but I, I just don't like, I cut my finger. I just don't like uh, these little, these little strings on, on there. So I'm getting all those off. Anyway, you can see kind of what we're doing. Drilling holes in the skid plate so you can rinse out the belly pan. Hope this helps y'all out. Thanks for watching.